what is going on hopefully you guys can hear me pretty good and today for tonight as you can see by the name of the title phone bills okay and what I'm going to get into I want to give you guys some brief you know history upon how you know certain things work with certain companies and why certain companies are now no longer around before you know I get into my main my main discussion because I have I have an issue I have a problem right now and it's really uh, it's really bothering me it it, it it's it, it is so I decided to share my knowledge now we all know about back back a long time ago early 2000s if not the late 90s of a uh, circuit city going out of business and the people who they were teamed up with but not only that but phone companies and the first phone company that was invented and, and you can do your research on this the first phone company that was invented was a, a TNT but they weren't a phone company but a lot of phone companies expanded from them and there's team up partnership or sister ship deals when it comes to certain electronic companies because you know you had AT&T first from that Radio Shack was created because they were a furniture store at the time along with phones but then they started moving into the electronics um, from there you had Circuit City then Best Buy and in between you had them who actually created CarMax but CarMax separated themselves once Circuit City went down and everything comes back around in a circle as in a domino effect one falls it affects the whole thing and how long you're planning on staying up there and business okay from there you had a Verizon Sprint a T-Mobile and then T-Mobile created I do believe Metro PCS because they are sister partnership company and somewhere in between all this is Toys R Us okay now like I said the first phone company that was created was AT&T we know about the fall of Circuit City which led into Blockbuster falling from there you had Radio Shack from there you had Sprint that actually went out of business not long you no know, I don't really know how long that was but I know you know this was international wise you know in in the country rather than it being anything in terms of local okay where the things return of local and then then try to you know gaining back now and and we'll, we will get to that I don't know how they got saved. I don't know how they really came back. I would imagine bankruptcy had something to do with it and the prices now of their phones with the deals that they are um, offering, which goes into why I'm not no longer doing, you know, business anymore with uh, Verizon. But from there, you had the fall of Best Buy, which then affected, you know, Toys R Us, you know. So everything com comes around full circle as in a domino effect. Now from there, you have in between who was a straight talk with the track phones. Okay? You had straight talk that was created with the track phones. Okay. And the phone that I'm currently using, that's from Verizon. Um, So I've been in Verizon for about a you know, three years. And before, before I get into the story, and I'm sharing my knowledge, it's time for the truth to be revealed, okay? Um, I know one phone company I left out, 
That's Cricket. Honestly, Cricket's bringing upon their own downfall because of how rude their customer service is and how not good they are. It's just the shitty phones and the shitty company. I'm sorry, but they're like below the earth with the worms and the dirt under our feet. And that's why really nobody really mentions them. I'm sorry, but not really worthy of a mention. Who brings upon a, their own downfall? But, you know, what, the, these companies, they get you. You know, and every company's crooked. I'm calling it for what it is. You know, there's always a hidden a thing, a hidden, I won't say hidden agenda, but uh, some of the trap you win, you know, a contract, you know. Con. And a lot of it now that's being chosen as auto pay to where they want the information from your account. I'm sorry, but that's bullshit. I think they should take that. I think every company that does auto pay, regardless of what it is, should not have that. Because they're they're actually stealing money out of your account. And if you're wondering why you get these account bills so much from your bank, is because a lot of these people that you give permission to... To say, take out the money out the account, that means they can take out as much as they want from every payday that you receive every two weeks to every month. And my experience with this, in terms of that, what would been a... Uh, it's, 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 it's not people. It's not the people that you see that work at these places that's doing it. It's not the people. It's the people above them that run the programming. Who are doing this? Is this the program itself and the people that run that? Not the people that you see working there. Okay? I, I just want to verify and clear that. Okay? Which was Planet Fitness. And I've been with, I, tr- I started with him first with a friend of mine. Uh, I was on his uh, plan. I always helped him pay. But he could never figure out why they were taking money out of his account. So he lost his membership because I kept saying he owes money, he owes money, even though I was helping him with it. And then once I got my account for myself years later, same thing happened to me because they were taking more money out the account. And I had the Black Club membership plan, or whatever the hell it's called, the Black Card plan, was supposed to be twenty dollars a month, and it's not. And they took t- taking out forty, and every until one day they said, "Okay, we can't come back until you paid this bill that you owe." Even though they were taking out forty fucking dollars, you know, and get off the contract. First of all, get off the contract to end it would have been two hundred dollars first, followed up by fifty dollars to end the account there. That's two hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, you, that's pretty much you know that's a uh, bullshit. You know, call for what it is. You know, some sucker shit. Okay, it, it really is. And now a lot of the phone companies are doing this, but I'm sorry, you're not. You're not going to take out money out my account, and you're practically stealing. This has been known to happen. Um. So, which leads me to my story. You know, like I said, I've been to Verizon for like. You know, three years. And the first phone that I got from Verizon didn't come from Verizon. It was a prepaid phone that comes out the box that you can buy either from Walmart or Target. And mine came from Target. And I had the uh, card, the um, phone card to try to activate it, and it wouldn't happen. So I called one of the places, like, oh, well, we can't do that until I brought it to the one where I stay at here on James Campbell. And they did it, but little to, to my knowledge that I know what they were doing, they put it on their contract to make it seem like it came from them when it didn't. Which explains, you know, in that situation, you know, you, you, you we all are told, okay, you know, the prepaid plan, you know, you're paying, you know, $45, $50 a month, which, which is bullshit, especially with straight talk and th- these other prepaid phones, okay? And, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. But I was trying to figure out why am I paying 60 almost $70 a month, you know. And and now, with this phone, okay, like this is how much I was paying first. 
and they just add on, you know, they add on to it. And we will get to that bill on how you guys can see that right there. You know, I'm paying, I was paying 66 a month, rounded up to around $70. And they, the reason why they do that is because this, first and foremost, you know, the phones that you get from these places, when you no longer can afford to pay them, when they're still on contract, they, you know, you have to return them, and they still want you to pay that bill. Well, it's kind of like rent to own with these phones. Okay, it was kind of like rent to own. So in other words, the money that you're paying every month is money that you're paying for using the phone as you're renting them from them until you can no longer afford to pay it. Then they ask you to return it, but they're adding on to what you use of tax, calling, on top of that, uh, your social media, your use, um, what else was there? Data, streaming, videos, um, their connection to their network, not to mention you're adding on state government taxes on top of that, which is $8 more. And it's on the back of this, like you guys really have to look. And that's why you're paying so much, and that's why it just keeps going on. Well, then they raised up my bill, okay, e even more which took place in September 22nd, then I found myself paying $103 every month. Okay. I want you guys to see that. Okay? I want you guys to see that. So, I'm like, what, what the hell is this? You know, this is bullshit. And it's getting to the point now to where... It's just getting hard to, for, for me to pay my phone because I take underneath the table jobs. Keep it real, you know, which is only fifty, twenty dollars, sometimes thirty dollars every two weeks, and I do get Social Security every month, which is four hundred dollars. Okay, and and still that, that still isn't much. And like I said, around this time they kept wanting auto pay, and and then you're not getting it. Well, once I paid certain things and and complained about it to a friend that works there, he he took care of it for the most. Then I found it still paying, you know, not as much, but still a lot, which is paying sixty dollars a month. You know, I still it's still bullshit, okay. And let me remind you. This is only used for like one, one line. Which then we get into the major problem here, which took place now several days ago. Okay, they sent me. They want to charge me for a bill, which is one hundred and sixty dollars. Okay, I want you guys to look at that. This is how much I'm paying a month now for only one line, but that ain't all of it. I had a problem with that. So they had me call financial advisor for Fryzen. This was the plan. I don't know if you guys can see that this good. Was to lower it down just to pay off the 182 or the 128, my bad, for only 45 a month. Which I pay the 45 on the first. They still saying the shit to do when it's not. Now they want me to pay this past two balance, and I got my receipt right here to show what the plan was for the payment plan, along with me actually paying. So there's proof of payments, but this balance due, past balance due, which is still bullshit. But th this is what they're doing. It says 30 dollars. Well, according to them, they don't want me to pay that 30 dollars. They want me to pay. $53 Friday the 11th, then another 53 on the 25th, followed up by another 53 on the 1st, and pay the 160 on top of that. That's literally, if you round that up, that, that's like half, that's like my whole entire SSI check. It really is. 
Then they're saying, oh, well, you'd be caught up. Let me remind you, this is how much I'm paying for one line. But that ain't all of it. They're paying me to use an app. It's a free app, by the way. I don't know how many of you guys heard of the What's, What's app. It's, and anyway, you guys can see that's that green app right there. What's app, where you could, it's a free app. You could talk to, you know, communicate people either from across or around the world, outside country, and, and they're charging. And this ain't the first time I really heard about this person that I'm talking to. Some of the people on here, they're being charged as well. And it's and it does shit to their phone bill as well. And it's a free fucking app, for God's sakes. But on top of that, I'm turning over this paper and, and we're getting this we're getting to this here. I played my cool like I didn't have a problem with it with the payment plan until I got outside and I, I just I broke down. But they still want me to pay. Okay, now now dig this. Okay. Pass balance due. Which was a week ago. Okay. On time charges, twelve dollars. Mm. Monthly charges, fifty six. Okay. Subscriber charges or whatever. Three dollars. I didn't know about this. Tax government four dollars. A total of this seventy six dollars for taxes, eight dollars more. What is going on? with what's getting added on to this 160 bill and I'll, I will show you guys right here I want you guys to r really see this okay this is bullshit this is what they're hitting your boy with okay I want you guys to take a look at that okay now we get on to May 1st, which was taken care of. The 76 was paid. Oh, I'm sorry for hitting the mic. But they still wanted to hit your boy when they disabled my account and get it reactivated for $46. The payment monthly plan for this, which was to pay off that 128 which was $30. They lowered that to, or they added that to fucking 40. United together, world first, through April 1st or April 30th, on some shit I still didn't know. Yet again, here's this right here. I want you guys to get a good look at this, okay? Now, we're going to look at this back side of it, okay? Yet again. They're even charging for the gigabytes in the terms of social use, web and app use, video use. What ain't even which which is low, you know. Social use is on is around fifty eight percent. Web and app use is for twenty seven percent. Followed up by video use, which is only four percent, and which took place from this. Week. I, I want you guys to get a good look at this. This is bullshit, okay? Going on again, you know, bullshit. You know, miss me with it, but... How, how do I have this? Looks like there's like this. Okay? We're looking at this bill. Usage history from April 1st to February 1st. From April 30th to February 28th. And this is how I'm reading it. Just. Really? So so they're really hitting your boy here with this. Talk activity. <laughs> okay. Talk activity. Talk activity. Let's get into what they're doing with the talk activity page. Put that right there with the talk activity page. Okay. This is what they hit your boy with when using the What's Up app. Because this is what they're charging for the What's Up app. 
It's a free app. And I have somebody over there who's outside a country, okay? Th let me remind you guys, okay? First and foremost, this is on the WhatsApp app. And what they're hitting me with, and this was took place, I'm, I'm going to let you guys look at it. Because this is some bullshit. They're monitoring what goes on on the app and charging me with a free app, like I said before. I just want you guys to look at this. Okay? They're charging me for using an app, the What's app, which is a free app. You know, any, every, I think some of y'all should know, or a good majority of you should know what the app is. Followed up by this is only one phone line on my phone and what I'm paying a month. Okay, which leads into what now they're raising my bill up to just for one line. Okay, some bullshit. So, because of that, they lost me as a customer until I got this one today in the mail, okay? Dig this. Bullshit. Because now they raise it up even more. Mm. Even out and on the $30, it says due immediately. Even though we worked that out till Friday. Even more paper added on to it. Plus, adding on the 128 on May 23rd. And now, they see, I'm going to let you guys look for yourself. Okay? For one line, just for using a free app. What's app? It's a free text and call app that you get from the Play Store. Not to mention for one line that you use. If Even if you're not using that app, and if you're just using nothing in terms of your regular call and text, it's been known to be raised like that before. Which then leads to me getting into prepage it, okay? That same day, I went down to Sprint and checked them out. Like I said, they've been closed down before. They're a pretty poor company trying to make it back up on their feet. I'm calling it for what it is. Their phones there, clearance phones. You know, you ever heard of the clearance rack where everything's like cheap? You know, five, ten, twenty dollars, fifteen dollars. You know. Their phones are like that, which are kind of like a, um, uh, they kind of remind me of the, uh, that rental store that's bullshit, um, errands. You know, anybody knows anything about errands knows that, uh, they, uh, want you to rent or sell used products that are put back on retail price to rip people off that's why their stuff is so easily cheap or expensive the laptop I was using uh, Toshiba had a recall after about almost three years later because of fires how used it was the problems and when I got it it didn't want to work it didn't want to burn CDs play videos movies nothing like that the price tag price was two thousand dollars to pay it off to own it as you're renting it is another thousand. So I paid three thousand dollars for that damn laptop. Going in to Sprint clearance phones. Phones there, 33, 40, 45, 50 dollar phones that, that are smart high tech phones. You know, you can do whatever, whatever. And then they got the uh, like, I, what, like I like, I want to call the poor man plan. Okay. Only one prepaid plan. Good phone, decent, free. You just pay for the prepaid plan. Be being real, 
you know, prepaid shit ain't even going to be the price that you pay anyways. Okay? You're going to pay a bit more. Or send leads me into straight talk. Because every phone company's crooked. Okay? I talked to them. We did all that research to see qualified balance, you know, um, credit check, yada, yada, you know, et cetera, et cetera, yada, yada, yada. No, we did all that. I'm good, you know. One of their plans are before before I get into the prepaid was this: you want us from you want to switch from Verizon to Sprint. They have a five hundred dollar, which will pay Verizon for a uh, accessory pay for me to switch over, which means anything you bought from Verizon you have to return and buy nothing from. This was bought out. Or at least I thought it was bought out because I qualified for this. I only got this phone for like $100. Now they don't even have the buyout option no more. Which means the phone that I'm paying for is like a rent-to-own type of phone from Verizon. Which then leads me to my next plan that they had at Sprint. The return plan where I return this phone to Verizon. And so I can switch over to Sprint. I will still have that record of paying that 160 almost 200 fucking dollars of something which you guys saw which I'm not going to pay. Okay? I'm I'm going to keep just keep it real. Okay? First and foremost, I'm going to say this. Some people that may see this may take offense to it who are white, but those that know me know I don't hold my tongue and I don't sugarcoat nothing. I'll say it how it is. I am a mixed black man in America. I'm a mixed Native American in America. I'm a mixed Egyptian in America. I'm a mixed South African in America. And I'm a mixed Jamaican in America. And a mixed Italian in America. My ancestors were in slavery for years. Worked for free. Because of that, I don't owe the white man shit. So if they want their money after I... You switch over to Verizon when I return the phone from them. What you would think with me returning the phone from them, I shouldn't have to pay. The only way for them to get money out of me after that, take me to court, sue me. That's that's the only way you're going to get money out of me. Other than that, fuck you. So I'm switching to Sprint. They got the poor man policy, and they're supposed to have that. Like I said, they went out of business before, so they're trying to save themselves. Okay? Which I'm going for the prepaid plan, or I might not even get that free phone because it doesn't have what I like to use mainly on my phone a lot is the music where you can put your SD card or Sims card in and all your music's on there and you just press that. Because I like my music, okay? But I have to recheck out that phone again and check out the other one. If I get the other one, then yeah, you know, I'll be paying the 50, 65 a month. Which the woman let it be known up front, which I like. Okay, kept it real, kept it honest. So, yeah. You know, phone companies are crooked either way. Yeah, I, I know Sprint's going to do some crooked shit. I know. But like I said, they got the poor man policy plan, which I also like. And their phones I'm not paying too much for when I am buy it. Or in this case, as really what it is, renting, because they don't no longer have the buyout option plan. And I kept pressing, like, hey, I'm not doing the auto pay. I'm going to pay it in person because you guys are not getting my bank account information that steal fucking money from me anytime you want, is what they do. A lot of companies do that when you, when you give them that. I don't care what it is. But I'm not giving that information. That's why I'm going to pay it in person. Um... I know the money or the bill that I pay every month for the phone is really not me paying my phone bill. It's me paying my phone as in me renting it like we all are really doing. You guys just don't know until you do your research. But, yeah, this is some suck of shit. In the end, the only way that these people want to get this money out of me once I switch over, take me to court because it's not going to happen. It's not. Matter of fact, it might even be, if it comes to that, I guarantee you it will be dropped on the first day because I'm going to bring what I'm going to bring. Have the judge, DA, district attorney, 
lawyer, look at it. But I'm going to look at it like, oh, this is some bullshit. Also, you need to come with knowledge, which is facts. Which equals to proof. Which then leads me into other prepaid. Believe it or not, before I forget, Straight Talk. There was a woman in Sprint switching from Straight Talk to Sprint. And they were charging her $70 a month at Straight Talk. Now, I know he's saying, how, how was that? Well, believe it or not, and I used to be with Straight Talk back in the day. I used to be with Straight Talk before they got... Before their phone quality went down and got shitty. You you would think the card that you're buying, you know how it says, you know, the 45 or the $50, you know, minutes for your phone a month. That's bull. That's not what you're getting. You're getting less than that and you're paying almost $70 for that phone card. And then after about, before the month's even up, once you get to that middle of the week, that middle of the month. Your phone's already due. And that's how they get you. Because you're really paying for the price of the card that you buy off the shelf. Not the minutes that you were getting. I don't know if that made sense to anybody. But that, that's the only way to really, really put it. You're, you're not going to get it any other way. So yeah. They even let it be known over the phone. Straight talk. So you just rat it out on your own self. On what you're doing to people. And it's and a lot of this stuff is made in the Himalaya mountains. Or in the Himalayas. Underneath four work conditions. So yeah. I wanted to share this with you guys. So you guys can know. Damn. For real. Yeah. Now. I know some of y'all be like, well, just go with the uh, prepaid phone from the dollar stores. Buy them phones and, and that. And yeah, but you're you're, you're uh, going through too much doing that because them cards with the, what it, with the minutes, the shit that you put on it with the data. Even if you hook your phone up to the Wi-Fi at the house, which a lot of us do, it, it eats it up like crazy even when you're not using it. At least that's how it was with my experience back when that started. Now, I don't know. Maybe that switch, maybe it didn't. I don't know. It, it would be something I'm, I might have to look back into again. I, I like keeping my options open. Um, you know, T-Mobile ha has some good, a uh, little bit of good options. But, um, I mean, I really don't know. It's still paying too much, in my opinion, after, you know, asking questions and not having the buyout option and the phone and shit, but whatever. You know, once once I get my money handed to me in, in July and get my rights, I'm not going to be too worried about it, but I don't want to be paying so much either. You know, same thing with Metro PCS. Got some, you know, friend over there and even their expense, I'm not going to lie, you know, $200 to get stuff set up plus the phone, hot box, first month plan. Or the several months plan of your bill being paid is 85, then it goes down. But still, I'm not with that. To me, get the bullshit out of here. But yeah, no matter what you do, man, you know, everything sounds good, but a lot of these companies are fucking crooked, you know. It's not the people that you see every day working at these companies doing this is the people above them that run the programming. So yeah, that's a way you know how, how you're losing your customers and my experience right now with Verizon that's going on. And I just wanted to share it with you guys. Like, There's really no way of getting around it. You know, may, maybe back then how things were, you know, before cell phones were really a thing. And people had house phones and you know, people had a hard time paying their house phone, especially when internet started coming in and the play and God, you couldn't be on the internet if you wanted to use the phone. And if you wanted to use the internet, you couldn't be on the phone. And that caused a lot of problems with people paying a phone bill, which ended up people, you, you would have to use a pay phone to contact someone say, hey, can you, uh, one or two things, can you get me a phone card? 
from my house phone so I can use it for a while. Or send me some money to get one. You know. I don't know how many of you guys may... A lot of my older folk know what I'm talking about with that. <laughs> but, man, a lot of you youngins don't know. You need to ask your older sibling about that or your parents, okay? But, yeah. This is just what I wanted to share. My story. What's going on. Just you guys need to be aware. And, you know, that's how it is. I'm out. Peace.